In this video, we are going to discuss about data management that is how to manage the bulk data. So here you can perform the operations on bulk data like insert, delete, update and exports as well as upset and undelete. Upset means it is a combination of update and insert. Undelete means it is a combination of update and merge. So data loader. So data loader it is a standalone application which will be helps you to insert or delete or export the data. So it is a tool which will be helping you to process the bulk data and it is a, in the form of CSV file. So CSV file which will be looks like Excel sheet. So it can process up to 5 million records. So we will be having some features of this data loader. So this data loader can support up to 5 million records which we already discussed and we will be having one option called drag and drop field mapping and it will be supports including the custom objects and all the objects and we can view the detailed success and error log files also. So we, will see, we are going to see the small demonstration about this data loader. To work with data loader first we need to download this application called data loader. So you can type data loader in your quick find box. So you can find one option called data loader. So click that one. So once you select that one, you will be having option for Windows as well as Mac. So which operating system you are using you can download for it. Here I am using Windows so I am just going to download it for Windows. So once you downloaded install that application. So after you install that application, just open that application. Now we can process the records in a bulk manner. So you can do insert, update, upset, delete and export and export all. So first I am just going to work with export. So whatever the data is there that I want to export to my system. I will use password authentication and what is the username of your Salesforce CRM and password of your Salesforce CRM. Login. So now it's showing login successful. In case if it's going to ask security token, you can get the security token in your Salesforce CRM in settings. And once the successful login has come, select next. and select which object you want to export some data. I want the uh, data from this doctor object. So select the doctor object and select next. And you can give your name, any name, whatever you want. So where you want to save the file? I want to save it in desktop. So save, select next and what are the fields you want? I want ID and name and doctor name, department name, patient name. So I just selected the fields. So if you select some query will be automatically generated in this box. After that select finish. If you want any conditions you can add it. Select finish. Say yes. So three extraction successful. So view extraction. You can see you got three details like records whatever it is there in your CRM. So select OK. So let me go and check out that file. So here you can find that file. So 
so now whatever the fields that you are selected you can able to see with the excel sheet now these are the three files which is already there now I'm just going to save as this file called doctor object import in the same desktop location so say yes now I don't want the ID field and I don't want this auto number field also so delete it so some names are there now I want to include some names so I'll just paste this itself so consider this is my new file I want to upload this file in the doctor object even I'll remove this one so let me upload only doctor name and doctor departments consider that I have some file so now I'll open my data loader I will insert some datas so to which object you want to insert the datas so select doctor and choose the file so in desktop so this is the name of the file select it and select next so initialization succeed your operation will contain six records so here we will be having six records and you can choose the existing map or you can create a map so I'll choose I'll just create one map so to create a map select this create edit or map so here you can give auto matching fields in case if it is not auto matching you can like drag and drop this fields so here there should be a department and select ok and select next and this success file that report whether it is how many errors and how many errors or not like once it is uploaded whether it is selected properly or not so if you want to mention that one you can save that file so select some location I'll select again desktop and select finish so you can see what are the records that it is inserted right now here you can see that item status created now you can go back to your CRM and check with the doctor object select doctor so give all select go I'll change the view so here you can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so these 6 records that we have inserted right now so consider that I want to update this Benson to 
some other names so I'll take this file with the help of ID you can update the fields so consider that instead of Benson I want to change it as John so save this file so name of the file is doctor object extract so now I'll just click update so in which object you want to update select that object browse the file name of the file is daughter object extract and select next okay and create a map do the auto matching fields so we need to change this name of the doctor so select OK and select next finish yes so view success so here you can see item updated so now we'll go and check it out instead of Benson there should be a John so let me refresh this page so here you can find instead of Benson John has been updated so like this you can do this upset is nothing but insert and update and this delete is like you can remove the records hard delete it is like that it is remove completely that is you can remove directly from the recycle bin so export we have already seen export all is nothing but extracting all the data from the database so this is all about data loader and you can do the data management by using this data loader maximum you can process 5 million records and in your Salesforce CRM itself you will be having one application called data import wizard so this is also similar to data loader you can check with the steps also so this can maximum can process only 50,000 records but data loader can process up to 5 million records so this is the this is how we can do the data management with the Salesforce CRM